Yeah, that says 80 ringgit for the train ride up to the top of Penang Hill. Luckily, if you love lines as much as I do, you can pay 30 and get a one hour wait in this line, thrown in for free. Fortunately, the line to go up wasn't nearly as bad as the line to go down. Unfortunately, I had to pay these girls 100 ringgit each to hang out with us for the day so I could put a girl in my thumbnail and get more views. The climb to the top of the hill is fairly far and quite steep, but the last time the train broke was a couple months ago, so we felt pretty safe on it. Eventually, the doors opened after we came to a jerking halt, and we stepped onto the platform. Immediately after you get off the train, you'll be staring at the most impressive part of Penang Hill. This is what makes the price of the train worth it. It's quite packed, especially in the middle of the day and at night when the lights come on, but it's still a beautiful view of the city of Georgetown. After all, who wouldn't want to take a selfie here? And let me be the one to tell you, the selfie culture is strong in Malaysia. Once you finish staring out of the city, you can venture further into the little town on the top of the hill. There are a ton of overpriced tourist attractions, such as this love walk thing and the highest restaurant in Penang, which is also home to the most expensive beer I've ever seen in Penang. However, if you venture a little further and look carefully, you can find some cool and reasonably priced things, like this guy who will draw you for 20 ringgit. If you keep walking up and up and up and up, you will eventually make it to a mosque, which is pretty cool itself, but more importantly, right next to the mosque are a few small snack stands, and these stands have normal prices. Most people don't make it this far, so the prices are much lower. Oh yeah, on your way back to the train line, you may want to update your Tinder profile picture with a nice photo of you holding a macaw. Luckily, you can do that. At this point, you should be pretty hungry and you will most likely be looking for food. Don't get it up here. Trust me, Georgetown is one of the best places to eat in the entire world, and that is not just my opinion. Get back on the train and enjoy the stomach-wrenching feeling of falling down a mountain. If you have no idea what food to get, I recommend checking out the Gurney Drive Hawker Center. This dude right here is going to be cooking up the most fire saute I have ever had in my entire life. And if you don't like saute for some reason, say you're a vegan or you're a clinically insane, there are a hundred other options. This place has something for everyone. And finally, after you've eaten your fill, go find a place to watch the sunset. Up high, preferably. I promise you won't regret it. After the sun sets, make sure you go ahead and go to my YouTube channel, click that freaking subscribe button, and stay tuned for more adventures. I'll see you next time.